technology, well, unfortunately, it seems that is racist at times as well. Tech experts and activists have been criticizing the use of facial recognition technology, saying that it will only increase racial discrimination. And it seems seems like they were right. Right. Now, from unlocking your phone to auto-tagging your picture, spatial recognition technology, it can recognize a human face in a picture, video or in real time. It's used in airports, concerts, stadiums, hotels. Most of these places, they're now using facial recognition technology for surveillance purposes. In recent times, law enforcement departments too are using facial technology, recognition technology to arrest or identify criminals. But if reports are to be believed, AI might be might be behaving in a racist manner. As per US police records, in every reported case where police mistakenly arrested someone using facial recognition, that person has been black. Portia Woodruff, uh, Woodruff, a mother from Detroit, Michigan, has filed a lawsuit for wrongfully for being wrongfully arrested against the city of Detroit in the US District Court. Portia is the first female victim to report a false accusation based on the facial recognition technology. At the time of arrest, Portia was eight months pregnant. Portia is now the sixth person to report being falsely accused of a crime based on a match with an unknown offender's face to a photo in a database. Now, according to a recent study by the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, researchers found that the facial recognition technology works relatively well on white men. Their study suggests that the results are less accurate for other demographics because of a lack of diversity in the images that are being used to develop the underlying database. And in a recent revelation, the United States federal government released a report that confirmed discrimination issues in its facial recognition algorithms. They said that the facial recognition system worked effectively for the middle-aged white males, but poorly for people of color, the elderly, women and children, leading to wrongful arrests, lengthy incarcerations and even deadly police violence. In a 2020 interview, Detroit's police chief had said their facial recognition technology, when used alone, fails 96% of the time, with the vast number of concerns surrounding the accuracy of facial recognition software. There's an urgent need to upgrade and improve the existing tech and database for a discrimination-free software. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.